hello everyone welcome back to this channel i hope you all are doing great today i'm just going to walk you through how i make my authentic and delicious ghana jollof let's get started i'll start by blending my ingredients which are spring onions garlic ginger green bell pepper onions and tomatoes i'll add enough water to blend it and I'll show you why I'm doing this later in the video. So I'm just adding oil into my cooking pot. And I'll let it heat. Then I'll add some bay leaves. And then I'll scoop the top of my blended ingredients. And leave the watery part for another time. Please, if you are new to this channel... You are most welcome and I entreat you to subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I put up a new video. So I will let this fry till almost all the liquid in it is gone and I will go ahead to add my tomato paste into it. Now I have my tomato paste which is called Lizzie Tomato Mix and it has this reddish color which will make my jollof look very beautiful. You can decide to use any tomato paste of your choice but I prefer to use this one. After adding my tomato paste, I'll stir it well to mix everything thoroughly. Then I'll let this fry for 5 minutes then I'll add my spices and seasoning cube and some salt into it so i'm just using star anise and nutmeg aside the bay leaf i added initially this is my fish powder that i just added and about the spices if you have different spices you can use them but I just wanted to use just these two spices. I didn't want to overload my jollof with plenty spices. So this is chicken stock that I just added. So I'll stir it again. And let it fry for 3 minutes. Then I'll go ahead to add my washed rice into it. For now, I'm not adding water. It's just the stew that I prepared that I have added my rice into it. Then I'll stir it and cover it and allow it to cook for 8 to 10 minutes before I open it to check on how it has cooked. This is authentic Ghana jollof. And I bet you that if you follow these steps, your jollof is going to turn out so delicious. So after 10 minutes, I took off my lid and I'm giving it another stir. I just don't want it to get bent. But with jollof, usually there's no way the down part will not stick to the bottom of the pot. So it is always preferable to use less oil when you are making your stew. So this is the watery part that I reserved. And I'm adding it into my rice. You remember I scooped the top part and I left this one and said I will show you why I'm leaving it. So I'm not adding just plain water. But the watery part of my blended ingredients into my rice after adding it i'll cover it again and after 10 minutes again i open it to check again i'll stir it again and i'll add the remaining blended ingredients into it and afterwards i'll be covering it with an aluminium foil and I'll let the steam do the rest of the job for me. As my jollof is cooking, I'll just go ahead and prepare 
my vegetable salad which I'll be adding to my jollof. Another tip in making jollof is to cook it under low heat. If you use a very high heat, the chances of your jollof getting burnt is very high. And you should not add plenty water at a time. You have to be adding it bit by bit, bit by bit. So your jollof is cooked. So now I have opened my lid and my jollof is ready. But I'll cover it for like three to five minutes before I serve it. I'll be glad to know where you are watching Nana's Meals from by leaving your comments in the comment section. Ingredients used in this recipe will be listed in the description box below. I hope to hear from you now. I'm serving my jollof and I'll be adding my vegetable salad and my chicken into it. I hope you enjoy yours after you have tried it. Have a nice time. Goodbye.